Hey, John Dran here, and I'm going to be showing you looks in Scratch. This is part of the tutorial series on Scratch, which include motion blocks, pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and get started in Scratch, because we have a lot to cover. Um, if you notice anything about my voice, I'm just demonstrating how easy it is to change your voice, so don't worry about that. Now, this is the looks column in Scratch, and even without sprites, we have a couple of things going here. This is switch to background. Switch to background, whichever background, is probably the most important thing you're ever going to use at, in the looks column. It, it's completely essential. So let's go ahead and make a new sprite and show you how this works. So we have a little famous circle. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to say when this is clicked and let's come over here to looks and say switch to costume 1 because in scratch you have to realize that going in the costumes tab if we copy and make a new one let's say a different color it'll it'll only find whichever one it has a script for if you don't make a script for the first one there won't be one see say we made it switch to costume mm, let's come over okay let's make it move 10 steps and you know when that's clicked switch to costume 2 that sounds like a good idea well when you click it's still already blue because there's a script for costume 2 but not for costume 1 you have to put in one for costume 1 then and then will it work so that's how you use switch to costume. Now let me show you a couple of examples of programs that I've made in the past that have used them because they're very very important. This is History Bowl. It's a quiz that um, as you can see has quite a lot of different scripts in it and as you they're all when I receive a broadcast switch to a certain background. So all of these different scripts are all switched to backgrounds because they're for the background and all of these are the different sprites that I made in this game. There's 91 of them. Yeah, it took a while. So, let's, if we just come over here and see see background 23, background 24, it's basically saying when this button is clicked, broadcast say question number 17 and then when you come over here when you receive 17, switch to background 18 to the next one. So when we start, you know, we can click on this, click on this, click on this, and it's moving to the next background, which is up there in the corner, and it keeps track of your cards and what, how, how much time you have left and stuff. All right, now let's come over here and look at another program in which we use it. Mm, it's called Bomb Save. Oh no, 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 Twilight. Let's do Twilight. This is a. Oh, I'm not a very big fan of Edward, so I made up a game called Can You Kill Edward Cullen. And when your missile hits the bush, it switches to costume 2, which is a explosion type costume. So it's very important using costumes in these things. And costumes is, doesn't really, it, the, the word doesn't really give it justice. So yeah, here, coming up to bomb save. It's a very simple game. Just bombs randomly appear. You click on black ones, red ones will kill you. You know, and when you click on them, they switch to costume 2, basically. Switches to costume 2, which is a little explosion keeps track of how many you've clicked it has some kinks in it but I'm still working on it and as you can see over here when it's clicked switch to costume 2 very simple so coming over here back to our new game there's some other things in the looks column not just costume that's the costume number see if you say like you know what if they're co if the costume is equal to 4 then you know go to go to mouse x mouse y you know you can use it as a variable if costume number and these these say hello for two seconds think hmm for two seconds they're kind of stupid i don't really like them they they just basically make a dialog box appear and you know you can use the sound tab for that now changing the color effect as you can see was pretty interesting he made the cat green but putting a forever Oh, that's cool. It's a lot faster than this in real life. It's the video capturing software. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you make games that have color changes like that. And color is not the only option there. You can actually change whirlpool and stuff. 
You can change the size here. Everything about it. Negative 10 and watch him. He's going to disappear. Whee! Down there he's a little dot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete him. But over coming over here, the other two most important things you have are show and hide. You're going to use these a lot. Um, move back layer is good if you have crosshairs. But um, move and sh show and hide most important. So coming over here and making this sprite. Say say you want to have something that appears when the person gets to level five. Well, you're gonna need to show and hide because if you have a thing for show at level five, it it'll show up for the whole thing. Instead, what you need to do is you need to make a hide feature when this is clicked. So when this is clicked, hide. And then when it receives you know level three, level seven, whatever. Oops, level seven, then show. And so when we click start, see, it disappears. It'll only show up once it receives the broadcast level seven. And I'll talk about broadcasts in a minute.